Alright, so I'm super excited to make these. I can't wait to show you guys and I hope you guys enjoy my new video backdrop. Alright guys, this is my crayon room where I keep all my stuff. You can see it's a little bit disorganized. We have this corner over here. I don't know when that's going to get taken care of, honestly. And then this closet. Turn that on in here. This is where I have a whole bunch of crayons. I have some upstairs too. I just keep them in these Sterilite containers. Our crayon train, some boards. Anyway, I'm really excited to show that you guys the process of putting this all together. What I'll end up doing is putting shelves so they won't be stacked on top of one another. Crayons will be kept in the dark. So I'm gonna put a, a double wide bookcase here and another bookcase over here to replace that one because this one is really falling apart. It's pretty old. We got it for free back in the day and it barely made it here. So I'm going to do one here and one here. This will be like when I do my videos, I'll be behind there. So here are all the boxes from Ikea that I got for these bookshelves. They brought the boxes here. They couldn't drop them off inside. So now I didn't get to take them inside, but at least they brought them down here because they could have left them at the front door. So here I go. I'm going to go make this go super fast for you guys. A little bit of background behind this is I was going to pick up all these pieces from Ikea Canada, but <laughs> the border closed in March it hasn't opened since and it's probably not going to open so I was like I'll just order them online but it was $250 to do that so I ordered like a dresser some like mats for shoes and then I ordered three bookcases and two of them are really big and the other one and I priced these out on Wayfair and it would have been so much more expensive than getting them from Ikea and I had seen them at Ikea in Canada and I liked them there so I decided just to go with the ones from there and just kind of pretend like I added $50 to the price and it was still a lot cheaper so that's why I got them from Ikea and I didn't get them from Canada which I was going to I ended up making five of these bookcases. The first one was probably the trickiest to put together and what I'm doing right now was the trickiest part because they didn't really want to come together very well. There's not a lot of tolerance right there, but I was able, there was a little overlap on the bottom, but the other ones I was able to put together a little bit better better and then I was able to put the shelves in and it looks pretty and then here I am getting out the next box ready to go on this one it was definitely a lot easier it was the same as putting the small one together but it was just the bigger one uh, it just had longer pieces in some areas it was still pretty easy to put together I put together an Ikea dresser and that took like five times as long as this one took um, they're pretty sturdy when you um, get them anchored to the wall, which we ended up doing. It was super helpful, and that way I know things won't fall over if kids try to um, come over there and get some of the supplies off the shelves and such like that. So here I am just finishing up the top of this dresser here and putting in the sideboards. Like I said, these ones in, in a lot easier. You can see I wasn't... Um, having it hard as a time with that one by this time it had gotten pretty late and I was super <laughs> grateful to finish that um, my back was hurting and everything but I was super grateful to have finished it um, to be that much closer to getting all these supplies put up on the wall so excited all right I just got up it's day two of putting these things together oh hopefully I'll be able to get this one together today I'm so tired my back hurts but I'm so excited to get these done all right here's this is the last one it definitely was super a lot easier I think the hardest thing as you can see from there is opening the box honestly those boxes were a little bit hard to open and I didn't want to use a knife because I didn't want to damage any of the pieces but by this point I would kind of memorized where pieces went where um, some of the things that were the trickiest were just the little holes and such of where to put things making sure like if a part had a hole in it that it had the right hole on on one of the bookcases I put together recently I didn't put the hole in the right place and I basically had to take the bookcase apart again to just put it back together but these are the Hemis 
Hemnes bookcase from Ikea. I was going to do the Billy, but they were all out of that one. And these ones are a little bit nicer anyway. They're made of pine and they have some like uh, some borders on them as opposed to the other ones. So they're just a little bit sturdier and they worked out really nice. I was super excited with how they turned out and I, I was glad that I had these ones. And here we go. I have finished all of them. All right, they're done. <laughs> now I just need to make sure I can, um, I'm gonna secure them into the wall so they won't fall down. All right, today's the day. I finally get to put these bookshelves together back here. I'm super, super excited. I'm gonna put all my crayons on there and I'm gonna get to it. One of the things I wanted to make sure when I was putting things on shelf is one that they fit and two that they were easy to find. So I tried to make sure that I put like things by like things and I'll be showing you at the end of the video how all the shelves and you'll get a detailed view of that. So as I was going through and then I had a lot of loose items and I wanted to make sure that they didn't fall over in the shelf because that could make it hard to get things in and out because I've stored things in shelves before in my um, crayon collection and it was hard sometimes because things would fall over because they weren't in containers. So for the most part, I tried to put the loose things in containers. I might have to um, find a few more containers. I use some of the KonMari method, try to use things that you already have in your house. And look there, I just adjusted a shelf so I could put some of the taller things there. And it's going together. So here's all the stuff I've left. It's a lot of loose stuff. And I have this random stuff. And then this is another box of random stuff. All my crayons I'm keeping not on the shelf this is mostly the shelf is mostly for stuff that is too big so the crayons will still go in here putting the loose stuff together and the stuff at the very end was the hardest because i felt like i just had so many things and i was like okay where do i put all these things and some of them i ended up putting in bins like you see here and i put them back in the closet i was like well those will go here and then um some of the prettier things i'll keep on the shelves and i just really had to decide what went on the shelf and what went back in the bins here is the completed shelf. Look at how pretty that is. I'm just gonna go and show you some of the shelves, do a quick play-by-play -play of some of the shelves. Let me show you over here. Still have the bike in here, that'll be in here, but I got the other shelf done too, so can't wait to put books in there. Need to do something with that, but we'll get that figured out eventually. Right, so I organize these by type. This is all my Kid Made Modern. There's some scribble stuff here. I actually think, yeah, here more scribble stuff in there. I have some more scribble stuff that I have in some tubs that I'll get out. This is Crown Library from Kid Made Modern. Spirograph up here. Got the Solar Robots, and I have my 240, 268. This is my Kansas City bag. Uh, there's a Crayola store there. We have some bathtub finger soaps, something my daughter made. Our little silly scents over here. In the back I have some block of blues. What I'll do is I'll pull these boxes out. You can switch out what's in front, which is really cool. Kind of like a store. This is a Tony, my Copic. This is my Melted Crayon Art, my Prismacolor pencils. And then in the back I have some specialty Crayola stuff. I'm gonna have some plates back there for you have lunch. Uh, an early Crayola box of crayons, another crayon collection, some crayons that are just in there, and some chalk. Down here, I'm starting to get in some of the toys. And then what I did with the bags is I thought it'd be fun to show them, like the bag up here. So this bag, they have stuff in it, so this is all the lip smacker. And then in back up here, I have all my, uh, project and take note back there so really tried to organize it by type i'll show you what it looks like in back right there so then i all have all like i said all the crayola and take note right there i have smart pixelator and botley i have this really really cool i have one that's not open and one that's open it's a Star Wars Millennium Falcon 
See, my kids ripped that, but I have another one, so that's fine. Like, I have a couple kid made, more kid-made modern things that were too big for the other shelf. So I have some more toys here, washable paint kit, all my coloring books. So my Crayola Escapes, signature and Escapes right there. Then I have some of the loose coloring books. Some of these are themed with cram boxes, some construction paper, um, the Pantone. Over here I have a bunch of stuff from Toy Fair, Pokemon down here. And then uh, uh, that, that actually has a matching crayon box to it. This is the 2020 product catalog, which I love. And here we have our Insta Studio, some wee cool toys right here. Some really cool stuff. This is where I keep my bigger boxes of uh, colored pencils. So I have four boxes of 100 colored pencils. Uh, this is a 64 uh, Pip Sweet Skinnies, which are fun to color with. Uh, this is Color Escapes, which I love also. I think I have another box, actually, of those that I use. And here's some oil pastels. Adult coloring here. Um, these ones are really cool. And back, some of these are dual. Oh, yeah, dual ended colored pencils. And I have some tri, but. I think they're in a uh, tub right now, probably in the closet. I'll probably pull some of those out. We'll see as we go along. Here's my 120. I have some of these I have to get up on the website. I haven't yet. We have all these 120s back here. Meltdown is really cool. It's actually not a 120, but it was just a box I put together, but they put it with the 120 box. And then we have our 152 crayons. We have our signature right here pretty pixels and in the back I don't always have things in the back which is nice because then I have more space to put more items on the shelf if I need to and then over here I have Botsies I saw him at Toy Fair and in the back here what I've done is I've used this container to kind of put all the loose items in you can still see I have some more right here but I grouped all of them so these are all my colored pencils so a lot of Half of the colored pencils you probably can't find anymore online, which is kind of, I mean, or in stores, which is really cool. All those are where my dual ended colored pencils are, so they could go back down with those. So I'll probably reorganize as I go through. I have some floor puzzles. I have a doodle or start. I have some tins back here. More tins up here. A Mr. Potato Head I made. In the back, I have a telescoping crayon tower. I made this in high school. Do you guys like him? Then I have Star Wars tins in back here. I think I have an extra. I have like three. And this is really good to have this up. I have three of these, so I really don't need that many. I have this uh, collectible tin, some more tins in back there, another tower, 100 super tips. I've got um, an inspiration art case and in the back. I have like I did below. These are all my twistables. And I think I had a twistable I saw down below. So I will be just constantly reorganizing this, making sure things are good. And right here, I have some Mickey Mouse crayons I found. And this is an art kit. I tried to get all the colors and I actually bought this from Michaels. And they sent me, like I was supposed to be a till and they sent me two reds and they're like, oh, we're out of the till, here's a red one. I'm like, I wanted all the colors. I kept that one so we can use it. More Star Wars stuff like there. Then a bag of random stuff. And then down here, we already did that shelf. So this is where I have all my markers. And I was, like I said earlier, able to put them in some old card boxes. So I'll probably pick up more of those. But I'm keeping all my markers right there. These are Stadler pens. They're really cool. And then we have some more uh, markers and such back there. And then I do have a box of crayons. This is a Pantone color book. A uh, box of crayons. I keep most of those in the closet in a tub. But I'm going to be uh, posting about these soon. So I just want to keep it accessible. And this book is super cute. And then down here... I 
it's a little bit messier because I knew I wasn't going to be on the camera as much with this part, but I might try to reorganize this part. It's a bunch of collectible chalk and it's a bunch of uh, super tips. And then we have this cram box from macaroni and cheese. So you can see you could have won a cram there. And over here we have more markers. And there's a little tub too that those are put in. We have some tissues. This is actually a cram box. Uh, I really want to store it differently, but if I take it out of that envelope, all the crayons will fall out. Here I have some more of the big items. And I can rotate these through. These are a bunch of the toys I have from Crayola. They've given me some of them and I bought some of them. All right, and then lastly, we will go back up to the top. On the top I put a bunch of stuff to display and I use some of those crayon towers like if you see back there to hold up those crayons. Those are from Disney World. I have three boxes of the 64 crayons. I have some chalk, 64 uh, chalk. And then this is 48 chalk. And this is a giant dandelion crayon. And then some rockets that I'm gonna do a post on soon, a crayon maker. And another tin that we already saw here. So I'll probably put something different there. I just haven't yet. Um, and then Tutti Fruity. This is the whole thing. So what do you guys think? What would you pick out of all of this, these art supplies here to take home if you could? <laughs> this is so fun. Um, I enjoy doing this so much. It's so fun to come in here and have this happiness instead of all those boxes that were in here before. I hope you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up, please, if you liked it. Cause this video took like seven hours to film, even though it's probably only going to be like 20 minutes because I just, uh, I'll, I made everything super fast, but I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what I went through to make this. And I, you're going to be seeing this backdrop in videos. Hit that subscribe button because I help you guys find the coolest art supplies <laughs> really for whatever project, whether you're doing spirographs, art, you're doing STEM, you know, you're trying to do all this stuff. I help you guys find the coolest art supplies for whatever project you guys are doing.